Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a prophetic word that the Lord gave me concerning your dreams. To tell you not to give up on your dreams and to wake up your dreams, those that have been lying dormant. And so I got a text last night from someone who I had spoken something to years ago um, that said that thing that you spoke to me, that thing that you encouraged me to do, um, God is waking it up in me. It's been lying dormant. It's not, that wasn't the season, but now is the season. In that season, I was afraid in that season it wasn't the time because I didn't have the time but now in this season I believe God wants to awaken it I'm paraphrasing but you get the picture and when the Lord when I read the text this morning the word that the Lord spoke to me is to tell his people that his word his seed does not return void. So Isaiah 55, 11 talks about that, but I wanna read 55, 10 and 11. And it says, for as the rain comes down, Lord bless your word, and the snow from heaven, and does not return there, but waters the earth and makes it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. And so God said, tell my people that those dreams that they have given up on, um, this particular person hadn't given up on the dream. She just hadn't really considered it. And, but the some of you may have given up on your dream some of you have may have said god how is it going to happen so i'm going to do something else something got put in your heart in season past something that really made your heart skip a beat and leap with joy at the possibility something new something different something that's going to stretch you something that you've always wanted to do something that you've dreamt of and envisioned yourself but because your quote-unquote real life your everyday life has gotten in the way of that big dream and that thing that would um turn your life upside down and fill you with joy and satisfy you in a new season, in a new way and, and open up and unlock parts of you that you have not even yet tapped into. Parts of you that God has um, shown you, that you've seen, that you've felt in the spirit, in, in visions and dreams, but you haven't actually lived out. I'm not just talking about the life outside of you, but the joy that the dreams that God has given you to fulfill would bring to your inner sanctuary, to your inner being, to your spirit man, um, the part of you that is connected to God, the part of you that he awakens and calls to come alive by the blood of Jesus. When we're born again, he puts fresh dreams in us. He gives us new wine. He makes us new vessels that can carry this new wine. And he gives us new dreams and visions. And that's part of his promise to us. And then we get into the everyday life and it seems like those things are put on the back shelf or we give up on them. Or it just seems like life gets in the way and it was good for them, but will it ever come to pass. And I think of that song, I just read this book, uh, finished this book, and it was a novel. And one of the songs that one of the characters in the book um, kept singing and whistling was, don't go tracing rainbows in the sky. Although they were chasing these rainbows, these dreams that seemed too big for them to complete where they needed God's help. It was a Christian novel uh, that they needed God's help in and they were chasing this dream and they went after it and God put things together to make it happen for them in the right season. It wasn't immediately when the thing was spoken, but in the right time. And so when I got that text, last night and I looked at it this morning um, when I read it it was like immediately the Lord spoke this to me and so I want to encourage you that what God has spoken over you is not going to return void the promise the dream the prophetic word the the vision that you saw the thing that he's put in your heart 
whatever it is, if God spoke it to you, if God showed it to you by way of his still quiet voice, by way of a prophetic word, a sure prophetic word, sometimes we get things and you know, it's a conditional word or, or it's a could be. But then there are those surely, surely, barely, barely. And you say, God, how could this be? And so we give up on it because it seems too hard. But beloved, the word of the Lord says there's nothing too hard for God. Is there anything too hard for him? We know the answer to that question. It's no. And, and, and God, sometimes we look at time and we forget that God is a, a God of eternity and we operate in time. Time is our constraint, but a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day with the Lord. And so if it seems like it's been a while, it's a, there's a due time, a set time, an appointed time for God to begin to bring that dream to pass. And I believe that in 2023, God is going to cause some people to move in brave change, to operate in your uncomfortable place. He's going to call us out of our comfortable places, our familiar places, the things that we're used to, the things that we know how to do well, the things that we could do with our eyes closed. And he's going to say, you're going to have to depend on me. You're going to have to trust me. But that thing that I showed you, that you backed away from because um, it looked too hard. It looked like it couldn't come to pass or it was above your knowledge level that I meant it that way. I set it up that way so that you could seek me in this season and know me more and know me better as I bring it to pass and you have to depend on me. Now, there's something here. We can do it our way. We can go after our dreams our way, but God doesn't have to bless that. And it reminds me of the verse, they that labor to build a house, labor in vain. They who labor, labor in vain to build the house. Um, but when God helps you build the house, you don't labor in vain with idolatry, with, with idle tasks, putting all your effort in and expecting God to bless it. And it's funny because that scripture, it doesn't say they didn't get it built. It said they labor in vain to build it. They did put all this work and they got it built, but the thing is they have to continue to put in effort to do it. And so when we do it God's way and we allow him to direct, uh, direct, correct, and instruct us in the dreams and visions that he's given us, when we seek him, when we seek him and we seek his way, his will, his timing, his plan, his purpose, and his path, then he will bless it. Because he says the path of the righteous goes brighter and brighter until it's bright as the noonday sun. So, beloved, I pray that you would awaken those dreams. I speak life over those dreams. I speak watering over those dreams. Some water, some so, some water, but God gives the increase. And so what am I doing? I'm speaking life to those dreams. I'm watering those dreams with the word of God, with this prophetic word of encouragement that God says, awaken your dreams. Do not give up on your dreams. There is a set time. And I believe for many people that set time, that set season is now because it wasn't um, actually the person that who, who had um, texted me. I had actually been just the morning of before she called me or texted me. I had actually been praying for her. The Lord put her on my heart to just pray and to really go after, you know, what God has for her in this season. And I actually forgot about that word so long ago. But when I was reminded, I said, oh God, when you pray right, God answers you right away sometimes with a word or a witness. And so it reminded me, and so it wasn't coincidental. And that God is awakening dreams that he put in us long ago. And even in my own life, he's doing the same thing. As many of you that follow me, um, watch my videos and subscribe here will know that there's so many new things coming in 2023. But I'm going to have to trust God to really see them come to pass. I'm going to have to step out on faith, first of all, and believe that he won't leave me nor forsake me as I follow his path, as I follow his need, lead. As I pursue his purposes in my life um, on a new path, 
sometimes we get so used to what we were doing. Um, it's our old mindsets that show us and tell us that it couldn't be God because this is too new, this is too wonderful, this is too stretched out. Um, and yesterday morning I was on my walk and I was contemplating, I was going over the thing that God has called me to lean into, to step into the deep and do this thing. And I, you know, asked the question, what if I fail? That's the big scary thing. What if I step out and I fail and I give up my comfortable place? I give up my plate, my familiar thing and step out and do something and it fails. But oh, beloved, what if you succeed? What if you succeed? You'll never know unless you're uh, willing to step out. And maybe the place that God is calling you out from won't be there when you when you turn back. But Abraham, the Bible said, oh God, okay. Hebrews said if they had looked back at what they had come out of, then they would have had a chance to return. But they didn't look back. It says here, Hebrews 11 verse 15 and truly if they had called to mind the country from which they came out they would have had an opportunity to return but they desired a better that is a heavenly country therefore God, God is not ashamed to be called their God for he has prepared a city for them now he was talking about that spiritual heavenly abode the new Jerusalem the heavenly place that and they were in this world and they didn't look back from the things that God called them out of to go on this pilgrimage, to go on this journey, to keep traveling until there was a Jerusalem, there was an Israel established in the earth. But God is calling you to a new thing. And he's, if you look back at what you had, if you, if there's a chance for you to return to it, because when we look back, we, whatever we give our attention, our eyes and ears to, then that's where we're drawn to. That's what we're drawn to. And so God is saying that don't look back in this season. Come out of the familiar place, whatever it is. I don't know what it is or where it is for you, but when he calls you forward, when you take that first step, don't think about um, whether it will be there when you get back. Uh, take the God-ordained risk. Take the God-ordained step. Take the God-ordained leap of faith to do something new and trust that he's going to lead you, that he will not leave you nor forsake you, that he is with you, that you will not fail, that there, there is no failure in God. There's only leaps of faith when you're doing it God's way and you're doing it by his leading, that he that you can trust him to be with you. You can trust him to guide you on your journey into a new season, that you can trust him that it is training, that it is learning, and that God wants more people to step out on faith and, and let go of their familiar place to fulfill the dream. Because your dream, God puts the dreams in our hearts. He gives us the desires of our hearts. And so he puts, the, he gives you those dreams. And so your God-given dreams, the dreams that you have for your life are oftentimes um, initiated by the Spirit of God when you're living for him, when you're walking with him. And so God wants to fulfill that dream in your life more than you know. But he needs a yes from you. And so I hope that this word encourage you. I hope that you do not give up on your dreams. I pray that this word is stirring up and watering those dreams and that God began to speak to you in dreams and visions and other prophetic words and words of encouragement and words of confirmation to prepare for to go after your dreams that I pray that he gives you the next right step in Jesus name that he gives you the next right step what am I supposed to do next what would you have me to do next God what is it because there is a plan there is a purpose there is a path that God has for you and when we seek him above all else he will direct us he will tell you you don't have to do haphazard and so I just pray that over you beloved God bless you um Please, if this video has spoken to you, please let me know in the comments what part best spoke to you. Also, let me know, uh, please sum this 
<laughs> please thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And in the description, there is a free guide, five clarifying questions for every season of life. And answering those five questions will help you determine what God is calling you to focus on in this season to get clarity about what you're supposed to be doing, what you're supposed to be giving your time and attention to so that you can hear him speak to you, so that you can um, capture and experience, should I say experience and capture the beauty, the blessings, the purpose, and the lessons that God has ordained for you in this season and that you can follow the path into the next season of your purpose. God bless you until next time.